What's going on, guilty guys and gals? Welcome back to Strat 2. <laughs> uh, today is the victim reveal scene. Mm. Mm. Pulls that collar, even though I don't have like a real collar. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just wearing a t shirt. I don't have like the nice button up collar, you know? That doesn't matter. <laughs> Last time we basically just talked to Yuruko for a whole episode, which, you know what, I'm not complaining, but uh, I'm just wondering how Tari is doing in the sewers, Mom. <clears throat> and Yuki is still dead. <laughs> She's just circling around. Look at how passed out he is. Alright. <clears throat> Why am I hooing <clears throat> so much? I have a large glass of water right here. There. Yuki. Yuki's chest finally started showing signs of movement. What? You mean he wasn't breathing? <laughs> he slowly started to breathe in and out. His body twitched while a small frown formed on his face. And then the music cut off. I'm gonna murder you! Ugh. <laughs> Yuki, you're up! <clears throat> Are you all right, Yuki? Can you get up? I think can you stand would be more what we would say. Am I still me? Who would you be? You're definitely Yuki Maida. What do you mean, who would he be? We all know. I'm still Yuki Maida. Oh, thank goodness. Well, you guys were talking, I was having an epic dream battle with Utsuro. It was crazy. Thank goodness. I was worried I was never going to wake up. Yuki. <laughs> Why do people just keep saying my name and then nothing else? I saw a single tear drop from Yuki's face. It seems like he really was relieved about it. But neither Yuruka or I said anything about it. We knew very well of the pain he was going through. He spoke to me in the dream I just had. <laughs> Him? No. If this is the virtual reality, if my brain is really connected to this virtual space, then that probably wasn't a dream. They're getting hijacked. Utsuro. He tried to steal my body. Master Utsuro. I don't remember what he tried to say. My memory's a little hazy on all that. But instinctively, I knew that the next time I faint like that, I would stop being myself. Yuki, I can never sleep again. Sora. Akane Tyra, that's a real identity, right? We already knew that. Why is that like a... <gasps> Like, Yuki, we already knew that Yuki knew who we were. Like, <laughs> so you did realize it. No, I didn't. But Utsuro's memory told me so when he tried to enter my brain. I guess he did enter, but then I kicked him out. <laughs> but he's still there, so maybe not. But still, you're here with us now, Yuki. Sora also had a breakdown of her own when she recovered her memories, but she's fine now. <laughs> Thanks, Yuruko. Very cool. So you'll be fine too, even if this is just your. That's too far. No, this is too far. Even if it is your last chance, the killing school trip is almost over. Anyways. And Mikado has to be the final villain, right? Here we go. She's right. Our bodies belong to us. And we'll stay safely, and we'll safely escape from this place, with me being me and you being you. It's a good way of putting it. When I fainted and met Utsuro, even in my weakest state, I was able to get a hold of myself when I thought of you guys. That's flattering, Yuki. <laughs> Thank you, Sora, and Yuruko. It's all thanks to you. Yuki. You seem so much better than I'd 
than we had worried, but he was still on the very edge of tipping over. I could feel that Master Utsuro's revival was soon to happen. Oh boy. <laughs> we didn't have much time left. Each and every one of us knew that. After a short break, I briefly told Yuki what I had told to Yuruko. Yuki was surprised, predictably so, but as Master Utsuro had already taken over a considerable amount of his consciousness, he took it quite well, and that was the end of it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now then, let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. Our goal is to escape this virtual reality. <laughs> With that, Yuki and I won't be replaced by someone else, and no one would die anymore. Yeah, but there'll no longer be any more traders like Nikkei from Void helping out, so we gotta do this on our own. Yeah, now that Mikado has banned it officially through the school rules... We're pretty much on our own. So, how do we go about this? About that, Sora. What did you mean by having an idea or two? I did say that last episode, I forgot. <laughs> Sora, did you do something? Eh, do make true you remember everything? Not exactly the same. What we must do first is find Teruya. Teruya? Oh yeah, you did search for him ever since the last trial. Well, not quite, but yeah. Oh, wait, what happened in the basement of the Tower of Babel? Yep, remember what I told you, just told you about when I fell down there? I received Teruya's reset code from Ray. And Teruya was able to unlock his reset code and recover his memory just a few days ago. What? For real? So you already handed it to him? Then where is Teruya right now? I don't know. I told you, like a million times. <laughs> what? That's why I said I needed to search for Teruya. He just disappeared! When I last saw him, he definitely looked like his memories had returned, but right after that, he vanished. I'm just asking in case, did anyone see him while investigating? No, the last time I saw him was on the night we first arrived here. Same here. Other than that dream sequence I had with pizza, but I don't think that was real. The Kisaragi Foundation that Teruya is part of has been chasing the voids long before the killing game. It's killing school trip, you know, interchangeable. They must know something about the voids that we don't, including information about this virtual world. Why? Why did he suddenly disappear? Oh, Sora! The twin building's top floor! Are you gonna talk about the cameras? The broadcasting room there shows ca c camera footage across the whole city! CC camera? It's kinda true. Maybe we'll find him if we look through that. You're right. After all, that's exactly how we were able to save you from Shobai as well. I just tried that, but... I know that. But after watching the monitors for a good few hours, Trio was nowhere to be seen. What the heck? Is he intentionally hiding in some hidden area? It doesn't seem like the right sprite, but you know. Still, he could should be here somewhere in this island. I wasn't able to get much progress while searching for him alone. But if the three of us cooperate, we'll definitely be able to find him. Right. Trio with his memory back would definitely be trustworthy. His partners in the Kisaragi Foundation seem to be trying to save us in the real world, at least. At least going by what you said, Sora. Um, guys? Yes? What's the matter? What are we going to do about the others? <laughs> the others? <clears throat> Tie down Iroha. <laughs> 
even with three people, searching the city from top to bottom would be realistically impossible. I mean, it'd still be better than doing it alone, but... I thought it'd be better if we brought one more... If we bring more firepower on this. But we only have seven people out of the 16 that we started with. And one of them is Mikado. <laughs> if we exclude us three and Teruya, we're only left with Mikado, Iroha, and Shobai. Wow, what a lineup. <laughs> and considering Mikado's a void and Iroha's likely a void, the only option left would be Shobai. And we all know how great that would be. <laughs> he went Super Saiyan. And that's exactly who I'm talking about. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is like He's like the White Ranger. He just comes in and he's like, I'm cool and edgy. Actually, which ranger? I think it was Silver. I think that's what they call him, the Silver Ranger or whatever. <laughs> eh, anyway. Wait, what? I know Shobai is a bad guy. But that doesn't mean he's a bad guy. <laughs> but even if he, but even he is trapped here and threatened by the voids, right? Don't you think he'll somehow help us if we talk it out? He's totally dead. He's 100% dead. Yuki, uh, about that. We won't be able to find Shobai anymore. W what do you mean? We won't be able to find him? <laughs> I thought we weren't able to find Teruya. <laughs> Back when I was kidnapped by him. He disappeared in front of my eyes mere moments before you two entered the room. Disappeared? What do you mean by that? Like magic, you know? Like Mikado's. <laughs> Literally. As in, not like as if he walked out of the room or anything like that. There was a sudden flash of light, and then, just like that, he was gone. Like it was Mikado teleporting. What? Is he a wizard as well? No, that can't be. I'm honestly as clueless as you are. I'm surprised none of them have come to the conclusion that Mikado's magic is because we're in the computer. <laughs> like he's just got admin powers. Mm, firewall. <laughs> well, then there's nothing we can do about that. Honestly, it might be better off without him. I mean, searching for Shobai so that we can search for Teruya? <laughs> that like, makes literally no sense. Well, sorry. <laughs> uh, I guess you're right. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, then it's just us three. Um, about Iroha. <laughs> Sora, I get what you're trying to say. But I haven't said anything yet. <laughs> I, I also thought she was kind of a kind and pure girl at first, but Iroha's our prime suspect is a void for now, and we have to avoid the biggest risks if we can. Honestly, I would have been way more sus of uh, Shobai, but I think I'm probably forgetting something that makes it so he's not, you know? I know. But then again, like, the thing that led us to believe Iroha was the final void was literally scenes where it showed us she was. So, from, like, their perspective, like, Shobai can use, like, magic, like Mikado, and he was talking about Mikado betraying him. It seems more like he would be the void. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I might be forgetting something. It's just that I can get where she's coming from, so it hurts me a bit to do this. I... I would have done the same thing if I took even a step in the wrong direction. Sora... Sora... <laughs> I forgot my voice for a second. I know. If she really is a void, then she's our enemy. Hold on, I'm going to cough. All right, we're back. <laughs> we can't just leave her be out of pity. Aw. 
<laughs> However, if she gets a chance to redeem herself, and if we get to talk to her, then I want to give her a chance. The true evil here is Mikado. Well then, should we get moving? Wait, can I have a moment? I, I can't feel my legs still. <laughs> is there something left to talk about? We're almost halfway through the episode. No, it's nothing much, but since we gotta work together again after so long, why don't we stay at the same place at night as well? Stay together at night? Just like old times. Yuki, you want to sleep in this room together? There's only one bed. N no, that's not what I meant! Who said we'd share the same room? They're hotels, come on! I meant this hotel. There's a lot of rooms in here, right? Oh, so you're suggesting we move into this hotel? On that, I guess I agree with you. You're basically saying that we should go back to living together in the... Same place, like it was in the Mana Cruz, right? That's exactly it. If we live far apart, it'd be a pain to walk all the way every time we need to... Duh, meet each other. I had settled down in the southern area, so it's pretty far away from here. Yeah, my room's in the east area, so it takes a while to move from here to there. Huh, I never thought about that. All right then, let's move in. <laughs> it wouldn't take much to convince Yuruko to move near Sora, you know? Good idea. I'll do a lot of moving my son. Sora, I'm gonna get my card keys, you cool with that? Go ahead, I'll search near the hotel in the meantime. I guess they don't really have many things to move though. It's like literally just like their card keys and maybe their handbook. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky and find Taria hiding in a bush or something. I'm in the sewer! Alright, we'll be on the lookout as well while we go get our keys. Though, I'd imagine it wouldn't be the safest to split up like this. Don't say that! No! Well, we were each on our own for the last few days and nothing happened, so I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> There's flags popping up everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Could you two at least go together? What's wrong, Yuruko? Well, it's just that... Don't you find it a little weird? That we haven't seen Teruya ever since arriving here? That's not entirely true. Sora saw him the day after, but, you know. But we also haven't seen a glimpse of Mikado or Iroha. What are they doing and where are they? <laughs> well, Iroha we have seen on the street. You've got a point. With Iroha, we probably don't need to care, but Mikado might be plotting something behind our backs. <laughs> Yuruko's like, you're giving Iroha too much credit. I don't know. I guess worrying about it now wouldn't make much of a difference. We've already lost quite a bit of time, so let's get moving quick. It'd be better if we got started on our search before it gets too dark. Right. Boom, 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 boom. Be careful out there, you two. After you're done moving, let's gather here again and talk about what we should do. Okay, we'll be back soon, Sora. Oh god. <laughs> I was I was happy because they were all in the same room and I was like, oh no, none of them's gonna die. And the two promptly left to retrieve their card keys from their respective hotels. Yuki was staying in the south, and Yuruko in the... That's not right. She was stay, said she was staying in the east. It'll be quite a while till they come back. <laughs> the directions are all messed up. <laughs> Yuruko does have a point. It's not just Teruya. Mikado's nowhere to be seen. I guess I haven't noticed it since I was begging not to see him since the day we met. Granted, the city is pretty large, but not seeing each other at all for the last few days... Especially when I've been all over the place searching for Teruya. Was it just the case that we somehow missed each other? 
Or is there something else at play here? As Yuriko said, we've got no clues about the answer to this question for now. Alright, well the other two are gone, I guess I could take a look around the hotel. Oh man, this is the most nervous I've been for a murder. Because <clears throat> I like everybody that's left except Mikado who has plot armor. Well then, let's walk around the hotel till they arrive. Huh? An announcement? Wait, no, that can't be. Okay, that wasn't enough time for either of them to die. I don't think. They might have found the... Saruya, okay. What? Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, that's the statue. I'm like, what is that in the left side? Is that a person reflected in the glass? No, it's the statue of Higa. <laughs> After the sudden announcement bell, the screen displayed something unbelievable. Someone with a knife and a camera recording is seen in first person. I instantly recognized the room. It was the broadcasting room on the Twin Towers top floor. There, Teruya lay unconscious. Oh man, come on, Teruya. The person I've been looking for all this time. The person who had somehow vanished from the whole island. But who is Shredder? <laughs> we got a knife. Tree or Tori's limpless, limpless, limp body who stared back at me. What, what is this? Then just like throw the knife expertly. It's like, okay, well that's not Iroha. <laughs> and this is live? Mm, no. The video abruptly ended as the unknown individual with a knife stepped closer and closer to Teruya. Why the broadcast had been made, and for what reason, and whether it was live, I didn't know any of it. An outrageous broadcast that was simply out of the blue. Logically though, of course it's Teruya. We have to do this on our own. And yet before I knew it, I was already running. Come on, Rainbow Man. <laughs> He's in danger. As soon as I comprehended that fact, I ran without end, without thought. But yeah, you went a long ways to get to all the way to the top of this tower. The top floor of the left twin tower. Even though the broadcast was cut short, I was certain this was the right place. If now we can just run across the bridge, ha ha ha. Oh wait. <laughs> the room shown in the video was definitely the broadcasting room. This wasn't where I expected it to happen, but okay. However, the room from the west and east towers are structurally the same. Then it came down to... Golden Higa Man as a landmark. Yeah. <laughs> the location of the window, and from the golden statue far away seen from the window... I used that information to deduce that the location of the video was the West Building. Okay, probably go in the door though. Please, please don't be too late. He's a person that mustn't die. He's the key to everything right now. But before that, he's a friend that's been with us throughout this killing game. <clears throat> it's not just him. I'm not going to let anyone die anymore. <clears throat> Wanna see about that? I took a deep breath and pulled the door handle to the broadcasting room. <laughs> it's 
is locked. How do you lock? I guess there's something jammed in the door handles on the other side. It's just glass though, right? It's locked. You've got to be kidding me. And that means the culprit who filmed that broadcast is inside there, locking me out. Damn it. Open. Please, open. Use a trash can and smash it. Sora! Yuriko and the others. Others? Roha's here too? <laughs> Sora, what's going on? We met each other when we were heading up here. What the heck was that broadcast? <laughs> Seems like this is the right place, seeing that we all gathered here. No, I mean, you're right, but we have a problem. The door is locked. It's locked? Damn it! What should we do? If it's locked, then that means Shuruya is definitely in there. We lost all our strong people. <laughs> we just got the bean poles left. <laughs> That's it. Monocro, Monocro, please come out and open this. Well, it's been a while since I've been here. Right, we can call for Monocro. If he can put out the fire from the crime scene at the Tower of Babel, surely he can open this door, right? <clears throat> but he's depressed, so he's not coming. Wait, why isn't he responding? Monocro? Monocro! It's useless! Come to think of it, we haven't had any morning announcements these last few days. He's not here. Teruya, if you're in there, answer me. Teruya! What should we do, Sora? Monocro. We dealt with something similar to this in the past. Yuki? Spit it out, we're wasting time here. Guys, let's break the door down. Thank you. What? We can't! Damaging school property is still against the school rules. <clears throat> You're right about that, but Monocro himself once told us... The rules are absolute, but can be forgiven to break in certain situations. What? Oh, you mean when we entered Kokoro's room? That was a while ago. Hmm, well, it seems like you're already too late. What do you mean? Seems like he had long hair. That looks like he has longer hair. I don't know why that is. I don't know. That just hit me for a second. I was like, what? But no. For future reference, it is permitted to break down the door in these cases. The rules are absolute, but you're allowed to break them in certain situations. For example, when a murder has occurred. <laughs> Right. He even specified it as a murder case. I don't want to consider the possibility, but in the worst case scenario, this might be exactly that special situation. I agree, and we might still not be too late. Alright, if we four tackle it all together, we'll probably break it. It looks weak enough. <laughs> we'll ram it down on the count of three. One, two, three! Smash. It didn't work! Damn it! One more time! Wow, that's a lot of crashing. 
After a few more moments, the door came down. Because we were ramming it with all our force, we all tumbled down onto the floor once the door was broken. And we all simultaneously looked up. The first thing we noticed was the light tapping like sound from the movie projector. And a video was being projected onto the white wall in the broadcasting room. On the dead center of that wall, Dead center. Poor choice of words. <laughs> is he actually dead or is it just projecting pink onto him? <laughs> Silently lay the former ultimate merchant, Turi Atori, with a hellscape of a video as a break background. It's just a bunch of Onis. <laughs> It's a bit weird. Oh, <laughs> I forgot I had this on repeat. <laughs> well, here, let's go back for some thematic. There we go. <sighs> I have a couple of theories about this from where we're at right now, because I'm not doing any more videos today. Um, <clears throat> Either there's a there's a certain part of me that wants to believe Tree is not actually dead, um, but you know we'll see. I mean, bottom line, I don't think he's connected to the machine the same way we are, so I don't think that him dying here would have the same consequences as the rest of us. But um, <clears throat> given that the person who was shooting the film was wearing white gloves, there's only two things I can think of. One. It's Iroha trying to frame Mikado. Or two, it's Mikado trying to frame Iroha. <laughs> because the three of us were together, assumedly, when all of this was happening, right? They had just left. Um, it would make sense why Iroha came up here if she was the culprit. Because she wasn't very far away. But at the same time, I have a feeling Iroha would have come there anyways. Given that, you know... This was supposed to be the one where she was supposed to murder. So <laughs> she's got a, a vested interest in trying to make sure Taria survives if it wasn't her. Um, the other way around, if it is actually Roha, I think I already talked about that possibility. She would be nearby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but Mikado's got a reason to do this because he needs Taria dead before he reveals the information. And Iroha is the perfect patsy to take the fall, right? Uh, and it would be a very nice ending to her character arc if her final sort of moment or whatever, her big moment, let's say, because if she isn't actually the culprit, then there's no reason for this to happen, that she would die right away. But um, her climactic sort of moment to her character arc would be outsmarting Mikado, the mastermind of all of this, right? <laughs> and being able to convince us to... Uh, not fall for his tricks simply through her own method of being, you know, kind of just kind of dopey and nice. <laughs> that would actually be pretty nice. Uh, and if it goes that way, I'll be happy because I like Iroha. <laughs> I don't want Iroha to die. Iroha is kind of like the chi hero of this game where I was like, no, but we'll see, I guess. Ah, man. Um, it's, no, it's interesting to note the only two people who weren't here were Shobai and Mikado. Oh, I didn't even think of that either. What if it's Shobai trying to frame Mikado? <laughs> I could see that too, because um, he was saying Mikado betrayed him, right? <laughs> or like Shobai trying to con or, uh, force Mikado into a murder. Like something like that. Oh boy, there's so many possibilities. Um... But this is the fake murder case, so some some level of trickery is on play here. So it'll be interesting to see next week uh, how this happens. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye!